Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. We're out here on Reventuli Coast and we're going to be doing the Black Grouse Guide. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the Black Grouse, they do not have a drink time, but they do feed and rest pretty much all day long. Here is a zone right here from 8 to 11. They are a class 1 species, so any shotgun or the 22 is going to get the job done just fine. For me, I'm going to have the Catchdory 12 gauge. The Kusal Model 1897 Ranchero, which is the 16 gauge, and the Miller Model 1891 Deputy, which is the 10 gauge, and then we have the 22, but as long as it covers class 1, you're good to go. Max level is 3, very easy. Max weight is 1.25 kg. Silver is 85, gold is 105, and diamond is 120. Common fur types are brown and dark, and rare fur types are gold, leucistic, melanistic, and orange. They don't have a collar, so that's going to do it for the information. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go take down some black grouse. So the first spot that we're going to be at is up here in the top left-hand corner, and we are going to be taking a look at this zone. So we at least have a couple males over here. I saw one that went up to 122. The other one went up to 110. So let's go ahead and see if we can see both of these. Um, yeah, they're not right there. I think they may have went just down the hill a bit. So we are just going to kind of sneak over here, but I'm going to go ahead and get the catch 12 gauge ready so that we can take them down. And we might as well just go ahead and kind of jump up and start running. And there's actually one of them right there. That's the one that goes up to 110. So we'll go ahead and take him and I'll see where this other one is. And yeah, there he is down. There's actually a couple of these. So there's the one that goes up to 122. And that one right there goes up to 119. So we might as well go ahead and get all three of them. Yeah, I did not see that guy over here. And he is going to drop. So let's start with this one. He was the smallest of the three. Gold, 108.64. Diamond is 120. So technically that one that went up to 122, he is diamond potential, but I have never seen a level two make diamond. But we got this guy for a whole bunch of hits right there at 15 meters with the catch story 12 gauge. So getting this one picked up, he's going to be a gold at 112.38. Got him in the flesh for quite a few hits at 46 meters. So this last one is also going to be a gold at 118.97. So he is the biggest of the three. Was also diamond potential, like we said, but he was not going to be a diamond level two. But we got him in the flesh for two hits right there at 34 meters. So all around, it was pretty good shooting on these three. So let's go ahead and move on to another spot. The next spot that we're going to be at is kind of right here in the middle of the map. We're going to be taking a look at this zone. So we got three more males up ahead. There's a level 2, 104 to 114. That one is a 114 to 124, so he's a diamond potential level 2. And then we have a third one right there, if we can spot him here, 107 to 117. So let's go ahead and see if we can get these with the 22. They're at a bit of a distance. The wind isn't exactly the best, so we'll just see how this goes. So I guess we'll start with that one right there since he's giving us the best overall shot. Did not need to aim that high. We missed the third shot and we got that one with the second or third shot. And then we managed to get all of them right there. So we messed up the first few shots, but made up for it in the end there. So I'm going to just let the dog head over there. It might be just a bit too far out, but I'll just let the dog retrieve them and then we'll get them picked up. Here's all three of these black grouse. So I'm not 100% sure which ones are which. We'll just go ahead and pick them up. So this one, he's going to be a gold 115.62. We got him in the right lung at 142 meters. So we have that one, and then here's this one, gold, 117.39. Got him in the left lung at 136 meters. And then this one, he's also a gold, 113.40. Got him in the flesh at 137 meters. So I'm guessing that 117, maybe he was the one that went up to 124. I really don't know, but they were all pretty decent, so we'll go to our next spot. And the third spot that we're going to be at is back up here towards the top half of the map. We're kind of right in between the two spots that we've already hunted. But we have a zone right here. All I've seen so far is just one male. So there's a zone right there. It's from 4 to 8. I went ahead and reset the time. But I saw one male. He went up to 111. So we're going to see if there's any more over here. I'm going to go ahead and get the gun out. We're going to use the 16 gauge this time. And yeah, we're just going to kind of run up here. He's just kind of right behind this little hill. So it'll just make it easier if we just run over and then try and take him. Maybe as he's flying or whatever. So let's see, where is he going to be at? He's going to be, should just be right in here, and there he is right up there. So we'll go ahead and take him. There's that one, and then those are going to be some Canada geese, so we're not going to worry about those. And yeah, I think he might have been the only grouse up here. Looks like he was. So we'll go ahead and just get him picked up. He is going to be a gold, 110.14, so closer to the top end of his estimates there. Got him in the middle neck, the furcula, jaw, and the lower neck, so pretty much hit everything around the neck, and the face there at 27 meters, like I said, with the 16 gauge. So let's go ahead and head to one final spot to wrap things up. Then the final spot that we're going to be at is up here still on the top half of the map. It's just to the, like, northeast of where we just came from. So we're going to be taking a look at this zone down here. We've actually got a really big level 2 there, 115 to 125. Now, like I said earlier, I've never seen a level 2 make diamond, but he's got a very good shot there, so I definitely want to take him down. So we're going to go ahead and get the 10 gauge here. The wind isn't exactly the best, so more than likely, I'm just going to kind of run through there and see if we can get him. 
Okay guys, so he flew off really quickly here. We actually have another one that was right beside him. Somehow I missed that first shot, um, but we did end up getting both of these. Yeah, I don't know where that other one came from. So this one, he's gonna be a gold at 116.08. I'm not 100% sure which one is which, but we got this guy in the killed sternum and the skull, and that was at nine meters. So we have him right here, and then this one, it is also gonna be a gold at 115.72. So also got him in the killed sternum. So like I said, that one wasn't going to be a diamond, even though he did have a really good shot. So that was at 10 meters. Just absolutely destroyed both of those. So yeah, that's pretty much going to do it here for this part of the video. Let's go ahead and jump into the map guide. So here's the Reventuli Coast Black Rouse map guide. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So you can see the Black Rouse. They're going to be spread out across the entire top half of the map, as well as like in the middle of the map as well. So as long as you're looking in those areas, you're definitely going to find Black Rouse. And like I said, they pretty much feed and rest all day long. So it shouldn't be too difficult. But anyway, I really do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. Do all that stuff, it really does help out the channel. I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.